Nakan Marine Park is known for coral fields and vertical walls that are blanketed with marine life. These huge barrel sponges make great resting spots for green sea turtles. For a little more privacy, the natural canopies of Bunakan's walls offer cozier stopovers. On the reefs of Lembe Strait, smaller creatures like this winged pipefish and Hypsilodorus nudibranch have homes here, as do schools of Bengai cardinal fish. At first glance, this juvenile cowrie resembles a nudibranch as it clings to the reef. Rubble forms when reefs are damaged by storms as well as human impacts. A goatfish pulverizes the rubble as it eats, while a spearing mantis shrimp hangs out nearby to watch. Nudibranchs like this flabellina and crustaceans like this harlequin shrimp dance across a bumpy canvas. A baby cuttlefish is well hidden in the mix of volcanic and coral rocks. And during the magical interlude of twilight, the mandarin fish gather in special areas to mate. Over time, the rubble erodes and becomes sand. The expanses of sand around North Sulawesi are often called muck because of the almost furry coat of organisms, as well as the more obvious traces of mankind scattered about. Some creatures, like this Napoleon snake eel, are skilled at making most any patch of sand into a temporary home. The sand is an ocean in itself that provides a fluffed up blanket of nutrient rich loam for small corals and plants, as well as intriguing creatures like this sea hare, as well as this tiniest of crabs which appears to be wearing an algae toupee. Even this minute crustacean successfully catches a meal in the breeze. A carefully camouflaged pygmy pipe horse nibbles on the algae while a brightly painted juvenile frogfish searches for shelter. Other young fish, like the star puffer, seek out nutrients sifted from the water by stalks of algae that take root. Emperor shrimps often hitch rides on Ceratosoma nudibranchs, which don't seem to mind, but the shrimp appears to prefer traveling solo. The sand also nurtures some of the more unusual creatures, like these tiger shrimp, and the elusive Ambon scorpion fish. Reef becomes rubble, rubble becomes sand. The sand is both the end and the beginning for this amazing trilogy of marine habitats.